Hello, this is Mindy from Weekend Gardener, and today I'm going to show you how to start a mulberry from the berries. Now, the other day I was at my daughter's house, and she had these two beautiful mulberry trees that were full of berries. And I thought how wonderful it would be if people knew how to propagate that tree so they could grow their own mulberries in their backyard. The process is very simple. What you're going to need to do is pick the black mulberries that I have in my hand and you're going to squish them in water. And what you want to do is you are separating the pulp from the seeds. And the seeds are not extremely small, but they are pretty small. And once you do that, what you want to do is you want to pour away the water. Now the seeds that you want are the seeds that are in the bottom of your container of water. You don't want any seeds that are floating on the top. Those are ones that are not going to germinate. And as you can see, I don't have, well I have one right here. I have one seed that is floating on the top. And I've already removed him. But that's what you want it to look like. So, you're gently going to pour the water away. So you start getting down to the pulp. Now the seeds are, um, they look very much like strawberry seeds, little yellow seeds. And once you find them, you need to take them out and you need to put them on a paper towel and let them thoroughly dry. And sometimes this isn't the hardest part of this process is getting these little bitty seeds. Alright, here we go. Here's one. So, as you can see, this little yellow seed is what you're looking and you want to remove any of the pulp from the seed. And you're going to continue with this process until you've got all the seeds out that you want and placed on the paper towel. Now the next step of the process is you want to make sure that the seeds are completely dry on the paper towel before you move on to the next step. So I'm just going to get one more seed here. There we go. Well, I thought I had him. But once your seed is completely dry, the next step in the process is you're going to take sand and you're going to pre-moisten the sand. Now, you can do this in one of two ways. You can put the sand in a container, put water in it, once it's completely saturated with water, you can reach in, squeeze out as much water as you can, and put the sand in a Ziploc bag. Or you can do this approach, which I like to do this approach because it's much easier to keep the seed covered with the sand than trying to uh, put it in a Ziploc bag and keeping that completely balanced. So what you're going to do is you're going to put water in here. You're going to completely saturate the sand. You're going to do the hand squeezing process, which is where you would stick your hand in here, squeeze the water out, because you don't want the seed swimming in the water. Once you do that, you're simply going to plant your seed in the sand. And then very gently cover it with a fourth of an inch of sand and snap the slit on. You're then going to put your container and make sure that you label it so that your children don't get into the refrigerator and wonder what this says. You're going to put this in your refrigerator for 90 days. And what that does is it causes the seed to go dormant so that when you plant the seed, the seed knows it's time to germinate. And that process is called stratification. After the 90 day period, you're going to take the seed out of the container you're going to plant it in a pot of all-purpose potting soil. You're going to keep it evenly moist. 
and in several weeks you will begin to see some green shoots coming up and those will be your mulberries. Now, if you're hoping to get mulberries very quickly, the seed approach is not the way you need to go. You're looking at four to ten years before you can see your tree breeding. If you're looking for a quicker approach of getting mulberries, doing a cutting off the tree will be your best bet. And that will be covered in another video. So, try growing your own mulberries. They're delicious. You do all sorts of things with them. They're great for attracting wildlife and they're just a beautiful tree. So until we meet in the garden again, this has been Mindy from The Weekend Gardener.